Hey everybody, welcome back to part four of our Scentsy 2021 Fall and Winter Catalog Smell Through. In case you don't know, I'm Nicole Parks, your independent Scentsy consultant, and we have been smelling through the catalog together for the fall and winter season of 2021. So we've already um, smelled through all the spice, bakery, and fresh scents. And today we are going to smell through the woods category together. So first up, I'm just going to go ahead and jump right in. We have around the campfire and it's like a really deep brown color. And the description is it makes the memories in the mountain air as notes of fresh fallen wood and smoky embers help set the scene. All right. Okay. So this is an interesting scent and maybe for those of you that don't like generic scents, this will be your thing. I definitely, um, I definitely get the smell of a burning fire. Um, it's not quite like it is if you were going to have like a bonfire in your backyard. Um, there are hints of brush pile in this. It's, you definitely smell the leaves and the, the wood. And there is, I, I do get the mountain air. So actually I think they probably hit the nail on the head as far as the description of this scent. It's very different. And it might almost be too much for some people, but it seems like there's an undernote to this that kind of makes it more than just fire. Um, it's definitely very interesting. I personally did not order this to try, but I might, I might. I might before the season's over because it's, it's it almost has like the, it. I do think it smells like a campfire, but not necessarily completely like one. So it's very interesting. Um, that was around the campfire. Probably the most unique scent in this catalog. Well, one of the most unique scents. This and the Spiced Ember Glow, I think is what it's called. So definitely worth a try if you want something that is um, atypical for what you would think of when you think of scents. All right, next up we have Be Merry. Hang on, my daughter's coming down the stairs making a racket. <laughs> it's okay. Go ahead. We have Be Merry. It's a pinkish red color. And the description on this is, Joy abounds in pine bows dotted with holly leaf and cassis. I think I'm saying that right. I have no idea what that is. Okay, so this is just a really nice Christmas scent. Uh, yeah, this is pine all the way. Um, this smells like a fresh Christmas tree to me. That's exactly what this is, fresh Christmas tree. There is a berry note in here. Uh, I'm not sure what it is, but it's a sweetness. But this is like when I smell this, the first thing I think of is a Christmas tree. So that is Be Merry. Okay, for the third one, it's a new scent this season called Blue Sage and Tonka. It's a really nice color too. This one says, revel in the richness of midnight sage and black lavender over the sultry sweetness of tonka bean. Okay, so black lavender. I didn't even know that was a thing. I didn't know that existed. And tonka bean, I wasn't sure about that either. I did not look up the black lavender. I did look up the tonka bean and found that it is similar. Um, oh, sorry, that's really good. It's a, it's a more mellow kind of vanilla-y type scent. Um, so with this one, I get a lot of, it's, it's cologne. Sorry. <laughs> I'm, okay. Sorry about that. I'm back. So with Blue Sage and Tonka, I get cologne. This smells like cologne and body wash. Um, so take with that what you will. I don't know that I detect woods in this at all. Um, I'm sure there's woods in there, but to me it's just cologne. All right, next up is cashmere and corduroy, which 
much. I don't know why my stuff. Okay, there we go. That focused that time. And this one says, wrap yourself up in the coziness of creamy vanilla, Sicilian bergamot, and cashmere sandalwood. Hmm. So this is a nice one too. This is this is a um, this is a good feminine scent, kind of like if you've smelled Scentsy's um, Cozy Cardigan. This reminds me of that in that it's a it's a pretty feminine scent. And it's, and it's light. It's lighter. Um, it's like not overly perfumey or anything. It's just like a really nice, almost like if someone was wearing perfume and they walk by you and you just get like the slightest whiff of it. This is what this reminds me of. It's very, very sophisticated actually. It's a mature scent. Yeah, that's really nice. So other than telling you it's feminine and nice, like it's not overly florally. It's just, it's, it's just a nice scent, I would think. Um, I'll be interested to see. I did order this one. I will be interested to see if this one um, packs a punch or not. Because on smelling it, just like out of the tester, it's just very, very light. So I'll be interested to see how this performs in my house. All right, next up we have one of my favorites of this lineup, Cedar Cider. And about that, they say, an autumn medley of the reddest apples, cinnamon sticks, and vanilla beans nestled among fragrant white cedar branches. Oh, you guys. This is, oh. This is like fall meets the outdoors. Like, I don't even know how to describe this, but... Uh, you definitely get the cedar in there, and it is a beautiful scent. It is my absolute favorite fall scent. This and Cider Mill are my favorite fall scents in the entire catalog. It's just, when you smell it, it's just, oh, it's fall. That's just, I don't know how else to describe it. It's like if you put on your sweater and you go out walking in the, in the fallen leaves. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I love fall. It's my favorite time of year. And this right here embodies it. That is uh, sorry, cedar cider. All right, next up is iced pine. Oh, let me show you. It's a really green uh, color. It says, as refreshing as a walk through newly fallen snow, green fir and pine kissed by icy peppermint. Yeah, so this is also... So this is also a Christmas tree. So with, was it Be Merry? Be Merry that I just told you about that I thought, like when I smell it, I smell tree. Absolutely. I think the difference is on iced pine, it, okay, so both of these, um, Be Merry and iced pine, they both smell like Christmas trees. One of them smells like the tree before you ever do anything with it, like it's just the tree. Be Merry, on the other hand, is the tree in your living room with nice warm cranberry smells or something. Because it's it's got more of a it's got more of a sweetness to it, whereas iced pine is just the straight up tree. Nothing extra with it. So and while I'm talking about that one, I, I probably ought to go ahead and talk about Very Snowy Spruce because it is also, I mean, that and Iced Pine. I mean, you're going to want to know the difference with those. So, Very Snowy Spruce, they say, breathe in fresh forest air. Balsam spruce and cedar branches embrace the warmth of amber and woody pine cones. So, yeah, these are very similar. So, this one and Iced Pine... I would say the difference is the iced pine is cooler. So you're definitely getting that iced in there. So iced pine, you get that fall and snow and that icy peppermint. Whereas the very snowy spruce, it just doesn't have that cool note coursing underneath it. Um, so it's warmer, I guess is a good way to put that. Yeah, very different, very different smells. Um, 
as far as the warmth and the coolness. So if you like, if you like the, I almost like toothpaste. You know, like the iciness that toothpaste has in it. There's an undercurrent of that in the very snowy, or excuse me, in the iced pine. So they're similar, but very different as far as the, um, the undercurrent you're going to get with it. Actually, my favorite out of Iced Pine, Very Snowy Spruce, and Be Merry is hands down Be Merry because it's got that, it's got that, um, that lived in smell with the pine tree in the background, kind of like what you would expect a living room to smell like on Christmas. All right, um, next up we're going to talk about Mystery Man and My Hero. I'm going to talk about these, um, side by side because they're both cologne type scents and they're very similar to one another so my hero which is this guy says cool citrus and white birch ride a current of crisp air yeah this is really nice it's cologne it just it's like a man it smells like a man and maybe even Maybe even like an undercurrent of like the shower. Like, you know, when a man takes a shower and the body wash smell permeates the bathroom, that's kind of what I'm getting. So, Mystery Man, on the other hand, they say warm white cedar, green verbena, and citrusy bergamot in a perfectly spiced sensual fragrance. Oh yeah. <laughs> so, Mystery Man is amazing. Mystery Man is straight up cologne, and, I'll, and mm, I'm here for it. It's really nice. It's just, um, so the difference being my hero, when I smell this, I smell cologne, but I also, it's like a body wash cologne. It's like your dude is in the shower, and it's, and it's smelling up the bathroom. Mystery Man is just straight cologne, and it's like a really, really good smelling man. Um... The mall, if you go into the mall and you go up to the cologne counter, like generally there's like just a really nice cologne smell that you would definitely find this smell on the cologne counter somewhere. I don't know what it is, but if I ever do find it, I'll be buying some for my husband. So between those two cologne scents, I will say that Mystery Man is my favorite. And going back to the Blue Sage and Tonka, because I know I told you guys, was it that one that I said? Yeah, that this is cologne-y. It is, but it's not cologne in the sense of My Hero or Mystery Man. This is way more mellow and more of a house scent than it is like a body scent. Where I think Mystery Man and My Hero, you can burn, you can melt them in your warmers, absolutely, and I'm gonna be buying Mystery Man to do just that. But it would also smell really good as a body product as well. Whereas the Blue Sage and Tonka, you wouldn't want to wear that as a cologne, even though there's a cologne note to it. All right, we've got two more left. I'm going to do the one that I like the least first. Um, weathered Leather, which has nothing to do with woods, but I guess they didn't have anywhere better to put it. It says, step into an old-fashioned saddle shop, brimming with dark suede, tooled leather, and vintage saddles over a backdrop of oak. Yeah. This is boots, cowboy boots, horse saddles. It's leather, guys. It's, it's for the cowboy in your life. I don't personally want it warming in my home, but somebody somewhere is going to love this because it is straight up leather. All right, and last is Redberry and Spruce. There we go. In Redberry and Spruce, they say a merry mix of cranberry and raspberry swirl with a sprig of blue spruce. Oh yeah, this is really nice. This is similar to Be Merry, actually. Yeah. So to me, the Redberry and Spruce is similar to Be Merry. Um, Redberry and Spruce is heavier on the berries, absolutely. I totally get the cranberry and raspberry in this. 
with just the slightest bit of that, uh, I, I want to say pine tree. It says blue spruce, spruce, pine, whatever. It's, it's just a very subtle hint of that tree at the end of it. Whereas Be Merry is tree heavy up front with a hint of the, um, the sweetness in the background. So depending on whether you want your scent to be tree forward or fruit forward will be depending on which one you pick. But red berry and spruce is a really nice one. It's really, it's sophisticated and I, I like sophisticated scents. So anyways, that is all I have for you guys in the woods category. And I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it made sense. I know I kind of jumped around a bit, but in this category, it felt like there was a lot of, um, a lot of comparable scents that maybe needed to be compared more than they just needed to be talked about individually. Um, so yeah, I'll be back, uh, with another video soon about the fruity category. I can't wait to see you guys then. Bye.